right, let's talk about ammunition and what type of ammo you should carry in your concealed carry gun. I personally like to carry either Federal, high, uh, federal HST or Spear Gold Dot, uh, but I've run both those rounds through my gun so I know they function really well with it. Joe, what kind of ammo are you running in your concealed carry gun? So what I carry, I carry Hornady uh, Critical Duty ammo, and for a couple of reasons, um, I wanted something that law enforcement was very familiar with. There's a lot of uh, ballistics, a lot of data. Law enforcement agencies tested this out. The FBI is, um, is real satisfied with that. And I've run a, a number of boxes of that through my um, everyday gun, so I know that it works well in there and I don't have a problem with it. So for consistency, that's what I carry. Um, and there's some, uh, some people talk about, uh, you know, hollow point versus ball ammo, say, for everyday carry. And what's the deal with that, Bill? I mean, what are the advantages, disadvantages to that? So the, the problem is a lot of people think, oh, this ball ammo, I use it for practice all the time. It works great. It runs in my gun. It feeds reliably. Uh, the problem is it's not as effective as the bullets, the hollow point bullets that are designed for self-defense and personal protection for law enforcement and civilian use are designed to open up like a parachute and slow down. Uh, I can't remember what the analogy was there, but they, they open up like a flower, slow down like a parachute. There you go. And it's basically uh, that bullet should stay in the bad guy. And that's what the FBI's testing does. It talks about certain penetration, penetration depths and expansion of the bullet. One of the issues you run into is a lot of the testing is done out of six inch barrels, not the shorter barrels that we use in concealed carry. So a lot of the ammunition doesn't generate the same velocity it would out of a longer barrel, so it doesn't open up. And we've seen some failures of a lot of hollow points with the exception of the spear gold dot, which seems to reliably open even in short barrel revolvers uh, and short barrel handguns. Um, so testing that ammunition, I, I don't do the testing myself. I rely on other experts to do that. But as far as running it through my gun, that's what I want to know. Um, to me, it's a, a lot of it is Ford and Chevy. What's the brand selection you want to go with? Uh, Federal's always had a good reputation. A lot of law enforcement agencies use it. Hornaday, same thing. The critical duty ammunition is really good. And uh, like I said, Spear Gold Dot is one of the top expanders as far as short barreled nine millimeter handguns go. Uh, ball ammo has some issues with over penetration. Uh, you, you shoot somebody with a regular pointy ball round of nine millimeter, especially very likely to go through somebody or just cut a little hole and then injure another party. Could, not that I can cite instances where that's occurred, except in LA where the police officers did shoot a, a kid in the fitting room. Uh, that was a rifle. Uh, again, knowing your backdrop, knowing what's behind the bad guy and not missing the bad guy is critical. Um, practicing accuracy, marksmanship, and shooting fundamentals. You want to add anything in there? Um, yeah, just again, one thing about using uh, the hollow point type ammunition. Uh, I'm using, for instance, ammunition that lots of law enforcement agencies use. So if you ever are involved in an incident, that's one less thing you've got to argue about because your ammunition, okay, I'm using the same ammunition that law enforcement uses. So it's, it's um, pretty standard. I'm not using anything outrageous or anything like that. So I'm being responsible with it. Yeah, and I would stay away from any of the, the fashion brands of ammo that are specially designed like RIP or something that just sounds bad in court. Uh, it's going to sound bad in court. Uh, and it may not be as effective. It may not be as efficient. It's never been tested by the FBI. Uh, so until the FBI or law enforcement agencies adopt some other type of ammunition, I kind of stick with what they're using, uh, stay in that wheelhouse. That's it for ammunition fundamentals and, uh, and concealed carry jacketed hollow points. Oh,